very small island here in Japan. Uh, we've actually flown from Tokyo to this island yesterday and we're here at this Royal Hotel. We're filming. It was actually opened in 1963, closed in 2006. It actually originally opened as kind of like the Hawaii of Japan. It's kind of a tropical island. There's volcanoes here. There's volcanic rock actually right behind me. And um, the thing is about this place is it was open, open for middle class Japanese tourists to come to because it's not too far off of uh, Tokyo. But the thing is, over the next 30 years, uh, they wanted something new and exotic. So they actually started traveling to uh, Hawaii and traveling to Thailand. So they eventually stopped going to this place altogether. That's why it was eventually abandoned in 2006. So uh, really, it was just kind of left here in disrepair ever since. It's been abandoned for about 11 years now. And uh, we're going to go check this place out. We're basically walking through the jungle right now. Oh my god, this place is crazy. Look at this water fountain. Holy crap. No way. And there's a giant pool out front. <laughs> this is insane. So this is the front, this is what you look at, a pool as you enter. So when we first enter this place, you can just see how massive it is and how much stuff is here. I mean, look at all the furniture. Every couch and chair is just here. Santa Claus hats and their outfit. <laughs> they have a Santa outfit right here. The chandelier seems to be leaking or something in the ceiling is leaking. There's a huge pillow right here. Uh, this looks like the bar room off the side of the main lobby. This is awesome. So cool. In the main lobby, they have this. This really old telephone. Look at that thing. There's a phone book. And it's, it's got its own telephone booth. This is what happens behind the desk, behind the front desk. The things you don't see, like all their alcohol. <laughs> oh, look at this massive staircase. That is sick. You can tell this is definitely like the nicest hotel here on the island. And really, this was one of the nicest hotels in Japan at the time. some keys to the rooms. And this is actually kind of like the hotel we did yesterday. But this one's on a much bigger scale. All the golf clubs. That's how you know it's a very fancy place. If they offer golf clubs. If you're working IT, you're sitting back here on this little computer in the back room doing some work. It's an old one. STN 000. Look at this old setup. Other side of the front desk, we have a big Buddha statue, as well as all the keys in one box. You can probably go into any room with these. So I've come into this back room now, and it kind of looks like where they would store all the IT stuff. But look at this. It looks like someone's dry cleaning. And over here, it's like a huge bed. It's like, I wonder if someone is actually currently living here. If someone is actually like staying here for free. Someone's homeless and staying here. I mean, this is a nice place to stay. So walking down this dark and creepy hallway, let's see what we can find. It's like someone literally just takes all their trash and cardboard and puts it in this room. I swear there's someone homeless living here and he's just kind of like keeping this place kind of neat 
for himself to live in. So I'm gonna head over to the other side now, see what's over here before heading upstairs. And it looks like, oh, probably a gift shop, of course, on the first floor here, right, right next to the main lobby. Oh, look at some of the pictures here. These are nice. Look at these. Nice huts. This place is also known for scuba diving. The place we're staying at is a scuba uh, resort, actually. So, that's probably why all these nice dolphin pictures and stuff like that are around. That's a cool one. Judging by all the towels, it's a uh, supply closet. Oh my god, look at this! There's a mini cannon! I think that's probably, that probably just went outside as a decoration. But that'd be really funny if that actually worked. Oh, this is pretty cool. This looks like a Japanese restaurant here. Wow, that's pretty cool. An abandoned Japanese restaurant inside of an abandoned Japanese hotel. This is a cool setup, I like this. I like the Japanese restaurant style of everything. It's like always kind of nice wood, as you can see. Nice wood everywhere. At the end of the hallway here. Oh, it looks like an even bigger <laughs> restaurant. Venus Garden Restaurant. No? Oh, there we go. This looks like the the bigger of the restaurants here. Everyone probably came for dinner. <laughs> Got microphones. That karaoke night. Wow. Good lighting. <laughs> I think we're actually gonna go downstairs real quick. See what's down here. Pandora box. Oh wow. Okay. Kids playroom right here. And adult, you know, I don't know, pool table, whatever. Definitely like the the game recreational room down here. This is cool. <laughs> Someone put all these beanie babies into the the pool cue thing. Oh I bet. I bet this is for karaoke. <laughs> this was totally the karaoke room, I know it. We have a private room with a safe. Please be a... Dang it. Oh wait, yes. There's a single coin in there. I'll leave that for the next person. This room what it looks like it looks like it's completely destroyed I think this was a hotel room but it looks like there's a fire in here or something the ceiling is completely out as well it's kind of strange it's like someone had a fire in here or something ah the first hotel room this looks cool they have their own safe as well. It's so bright and nice in here too. I like this. All right, all right. This kind of looks like a motel bed that I stayed in America over the summer. <laughs> it's not the kind of actual bed I was expecting in a hotel like this, but whatever. You got a pretty nice view out there as well. There's no complaining here. Again with the burnt room. What is this? Jesus Christ. It's like, why are all these rooms so destroyed? Just on this side, actually. This side of the hotel. On this side, on this side, all the rooms are burned. On this side, they're totally fine. Look, look at this. It looks brand new. Okay, I see where all the hotel rooms are now. Wow, this place is big. Hey. 
Hey, look at this. It looks like it says Sengoku Musayu. I think it's like a guidebook for a game. <laughs> Someone was having target practice. Look at this. Someone was shooting through this target. This is the traditional setup. I like that they have a chair. I went out to eat last night at a place like this and there was no chair. And if you don't normally eat like this in Japan, you have to kneel down and it kind of hurts sometimes. You can actually see the front of this place from here too. Wow, that just looks so cool. The palm trees out there in this huge, beautiful building. Coming down here on the end, it looks like, yeah, this is what I thought on the end of it. This is like the penthouse room, the much bigger, or not penthouse, but suites. These are the bigger rooms. You have a whole couch, a living room, a whole couch, another living room. Where are the beds? <laughs> oh, they, sometimes in Japan, they just use these mats. That's why you see a lot of these things. These are actually kind of like futons where you roll them out. We actually had to sleep on one of those last night. You just kind of roll them out here on the floor. So that's why the, this is kind of like a nice big open area. So you can eat here and then at night you just like roll out the mats around here and sleep. So I just checked all down this hallway and all down this hallway. And they're basically the same rooms that I showed you on the bottom floor. So I'm gonna skip ahead at the top on the next level, see what's up there. Oh my god. Look at this room, guys. This is insane. This is really insane. Like the beds are still here. And there's these bright green, vibrant plants growing in here. This is like the perfect mixer of mixture of uh nature <laughs> and man-made. This is crazy. These are literally growing in the floor, in the carpet. That, what? like what? Look at this. We have a statue here. Whoa, look at the piano, man. Look at the statue. Oh wow, look at that. But just look, this whole room is crazy. Look at this green. Yeah, it's so vibrant. Right yeah, it's like a fantasy world in here. I thought I heard Josh playing this earlier. Yep, totally works. It's actually in really good condition, it seems. I knew, I, I knew there would be some kind of ballroom up here. Because usually hotels have ballrooms and I haven't seen it on any other floor. And this is the last floor to go to. See, they totally cleaned this place up before they abandoned it. That's why I like these Japanese abandoned buildings. They're usually kind of nice and neat. Whoa. This is the penthouse. Yeah, like the penthouse. We definitely found the penthouse. Look, they have their own bar. Yeah, that's what I said. That's crazy. They got wine glasses. Look how beautiful shot glasses. This is. That's a nice fireplace. Legit. Their own piano. Chandeliers, everything. This is the room I would want to stay in, but could not afford. <laughs> you even have one of these rooms too. A tea room. I think this is all just one big room. Yeah, that's their bed. So they just have one huge massive room with their own balcony on the roof. This is what you pay for. You definitely get it. I thought that penthouse was the top floor, but it just keeps going. This place is so much taller than I was expecting. <gasps> what? This looks like a dollhouse. Like a, like a life-size dollhouse someone had in here. It actually also kind of looks like a storage crate. Like they just brought this crate in and it was like a pre-made dollhouse. That is really interesting. Looks oh, like a mini bed, a mini kitchen. This is crazy. It's almost like a cat house too. Like one of those cat walls where the cats can kind of just climb around the house. But why would it be in this penthouse room up here? 
I think up to the very tippity top. Oh, yeah. So there's like, you know that giant dome thing? Yeah. So to get in it, it's like this little way this big. I haven't, I was too scared, so I wanted to go get you guys. You guys came at the right time. Okay. Come see this. Oh my god. I know. This looks insane. I know. Can we fit? Well, I went up there already, just and I threw my my camera up to go look at it, and we could go in. But it's just kind of scary. All right, I'll try it. Yeah. I wish you luck, man. Thanks. Yo, I'm too fat for that. I know. I think you can get in here. Maybe you are too fat, but. Oh my God. Is it cool? <laughs> I'm definitely too fat, but I'll take the camera. I'll take the camera um, and go see if you can play. <sighs> Guys, this is literally all I can show you. Like, I can't even get up there. I thought I could show more, but there's literally, it's so tight, I can't, I literally can't even move. I want to see what it looks like. Wow, look at this. I wonder if there's any liquor still. This is a cool bar. Uh, it's not. Well, I like the red the velvet. Welcome to Josh's bar. What can you get me? <laughs> well, if you like whiskey, I got a lot of it in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to do that in that creepy voice? <laughs> That's my real voice. Oh, okay. I'm sick. Oh, nice. I don't even want to go back there. It's, oh. it's a cool little lounge like this, like L shape, and then all these little velvet chairs everywhere. I would totally stay here. Would you stay here? I'd sleep here if I had a full body suit on with a gas mask or something. Well, not now, back in the day. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we just came outside. And look at this. Look at these old busted cars. It's literally just a full on car sitting here. In the front entrance of this hotel. There's a couple of them. It looks like the uh, this fell right here and busted this car completely. What? This whole thing, something just fell and just destroyed this car. There's a couple of abandoned cars here. But let me tell you guys, the weather, the weather here is so nice. You can see that this whole place is kind of like a compound. There's like a couple different paths here. This is uh, another part of the hotel actually. And we just came out of this part of the hotel. It's massive. And look, they have these little, the old lights that would go on at night around this place, around this parking lot. Inside the hotel they have a lot of cool statues. One of them is this like angel looking statue. Another one on the other side is actually the president or the CEO owner of this place. So up here and around the perimeter of this whole place there's actually a couple courts. I think uh, this is either a combination of uh, tennis or basketball. It also kind of looks like wall ball over there maybe. If it would focus. But yeah there's, there's like multiple courts like this all around. We're gonna go check what's inside this building right here. This much, much smaller one behind the main building. So we made it into that big long thing. Turns out it's actually not much, just kind of a lot of storage. But also, look over here. We just came into this room right now. And I don't even know <laughs> what to say. I think this might have been part of the statue of the owner. Like it's the inside statue. Because there's an outdoors one. But this is insane. It's just this huge room, big empty room, and there's this huge statue. We've also found out that it's actually not stone, it's styrofoam. We thought we almost knocked it over when we were taking pictures, but it's pretty funny. Just look at that, in the middle of the room. And there it is. All right, you guys, so this is as good a place to end the video as any, right next to this giant statue head of what I believe is the owner. That's what I've heard online. 
Uh, we're actually heading out of here now. We're gonna go have a great day. Make sure you subscribe to Steve and Josh. I'll have their links down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.